Okay, let's try Advent of Code Day 11, which I'm a little bit late for. The graph. Seven eight six. Cool. Server to out. All right, not too bad. Unfortunate that I started late. Um, so what's going on here? So we're given uh, this graph basically, where you know BBB is connected to DDD and EEE, uh, and we want to know how many paths there are from U to out in the graph. And actually, let me adjust this. Uh, from U to out. So we can just do this uh, recursive, uh, I don't know. we can do this with DP, basically. Um, so this is how many paths there are from X to out. If X is out, the answer is just one. Otherwise, we can try, try any of the uh, successors of X, and you know, they each might have their own valid paths. And the total number of paths from X is the sum 
of all the paths from Y, because we're allowed to go to any of these uh, locations next. Um, and then in part two, they said, OK, now how many paths are there from SDR to out? But you have to go through these two specific vertices. Uh, this is called part one. This is called part two. I should probably provide dates. That looks about right. Um, yeah, so in part two, uh, we have a more complicated state. We have the vertex that we're on, and we also have whether we've been to DAC or FFT. So if X is out, uh, the path scores one if we've actually seen those two vertices, or zero otherwise. Um, and otherwise, uh, for each edge we might take next, if it's DAC or FFT, we can update having seen those. Um, and then we can, you know, score how many paths there are from Y. And the total number of paths from X is just a sum over this. Um, and that's it. So it's, you know, pretty similar to part one. Uh, the answer is a lot bigger. So I guess it turns out that in part one, you could have just brute forced it. You don't need, uh, like, if I just deleted this cache, it would be okay. Um, but in part two, the answer is so big that you need to cache. Because, uh, like, if you think about what this recursive stuff is doing, you are basically tracing out each path. Um, so, you know, in part one, apparently there's like less than a thousand paths, so we could just trace out every single path. In part two, there's like, you know, what is this number? I don't know, I can't even count. Thousand, million, billion, it's like half a trillion paths, maybe? Uh, so that, that's too much to count, you know, one by one. Um, and so, like, if you think about what, what is the cache actually doing here? The cache is saying, if you have some vertex in the middle, and there's like 10 ways to get there, we don't need to check how many paths there are from X to the N 10 different times. Uh, we can just record it once, and then each of the 10 ways to get there will like end in the same way. Um, so instead of tracing through every path, cache means that we're just checking uh, every vertex. And part two is similar, but we actually do need to remember something about the path that we took to get to X. We need to remember if we've seen these two special vertices. Uh, but that's not that big a deal, right? We've either seen this or we haven't. We've either seen this or we haven't. So the total number of states that we need to explore here is just 4x, uh, which is still way less than the number of paths. So it's still very helpful uh, to do that. How many vertices are there? Yeah, OK. So there's only like 600 vertices. So the total number of states we explore in part two is like 2,400 compared to you know half a trillion or whatever. Uh, actual paths. So the, the caching is very important here. And that's, you know, the magic of dynamic programming uh, is we like write this recursive brute force solution. And then we say, okay, here's what you actually need to remember about what's happened so far. And everything else you can forget. Uh, you can like coalesce. Um, so even though there's a million ways to get to X, all we care about is how many ways there are, you know, where we seen both of these, or we've seen this one, or seen this one, uh, we only need to compute what's going on at x four different times instead of a million times. So it's a you know, huge time savings. Uh, so anyway, that's it for today. See you tomorrow.